Hey everyone, Origami Flip here. Today we're going to try and make a large hammerhead shark. Now it looks really cool, but it's a little bit complicated, so I decided to go and make it nice and big for you. And unfortunately, the paper is a little bit uh, what I wouldn't normally use, but we'll do it nice and slow and we'll work our way through. It shouldn't be too, too bad. First of all, you make a triangle, you open it up, and you make another triangle. Very simple. Okay. When you get to this point, I'll give you a second, you want this line to go and touch this line and then we're going to do the same on the other side. So first, you do this one. You take your time and you fold it out so the two lines are touching along here. You open her up, and what you want is you want to have a crisscross along this line right here. This is the important part. Now you go and draw, uh, pull this side of the paper so it can touch along here. And go along like that, and push it down nice and firm. When you open up, you have your crisscross. That's exactly what you want. Next, what you want, to, what you want to do is you want this side, bring it down to touch the crisscross segment. So when you bring it down, the line should follow this line down here and stop on the cross. And you fold it out like so. Once you have that, you want to open up your paper again. And you'll see all this nice pattern. Next what you want to do is basically the same thing as the first uh, part but in a smaller side. So you want this line here to go along this line. Fold it and you do it like that. If you've done the origami mouse that I showed you in a different example this is basically what we're doing for the ears. Same thing on this side and you bring it up to here. Once you have that done, you open her up, and you get the two sides, and you pull them together, and it brings up this pointy part here. Push it down nice and tight, and you bend it both sides, just like that. Now, what you want to do is the exact same thing on the other side. So you turn her over, you want this line to go along this line. You fold it up and you'll get it straight like that. Now what you'll find is the lines are pretty good in this uh, example. You're going to go and the lines will show you exactly what to do. So it's not that hard to learn. You open her up and you go and fold the other side again. So this line along here. You open it up and same thing as before, you pull it up and you get this part here, you fold it nice and firm that way and that way. Make sure both sides are on the same side. Once you have that done, you turn it over and where the points are underneath, as you can see them here, you want to fold the paper just to where the points are. So you see the points. You can see them one there and one there, and you pull it up to there, and you make sure this is in line as well. Okay. Like so. What you want to do next is where these points meet, you pull this back and you make a triangle. Once again, the line, it goes in line with this and stops on the line. That way you know you're accurate. Crease that in and you open it back up. Now, the next part you have to do is, if you can imagine this being a box, you want to fold the box in half. So you're folding this point to there, to the point there. And you're folding the whole part.
Okay, you open her up and you do the same on the other side. So you're bringing this point to there. And what we're doing again is basically the same fold that we did the previous time again. So you open her up and you pinch both sides until they come up at a point. Again, and you fold it over. Make sure all the creases are nice and firm and that's that part. I'll give you a second. What you want to do now is turn it over again. Next part, you want to make a triangle here. So where the points are is the bottom of the triangle. Make sure this stays along the line again. Like so. Okay. Turn it back over. Sorry, my mistake. And you bring the triangle back to here. Now, you fold it in half. So you have this shape. Almost looks like a mouse. What you want to do now is, if you see this line here, you fold this line up. Make sure it's nice and firm. Turn it over. And there's the line again. You fold it up again, just like the other side. Make sure it's nice and firm. Alright, you have that now. Next, what you want to do is you want to fold this somewhere around halfway through here. It doesn't have to be exact, you can decide yourself exactly where you want to put it. There's one. And on the other side you have the fin sticking out too, and you do that as well. So you try and mirror the two. And you fold that down. So if you can see, the other one's right beneath it. And that's that part. Now we're, we're getting along, we're nearly there. If you can see this line here, if you can imagine a line going all the way through here to the end, you want to go and fold the paper in that way. So there's a line there behind you, you can follow that as a bit of a guide. You want to fold it down, you don't need this piece of paper. So what we're going to do in a minute is hide it back here. I want you to fold on nice. You can see the line there, and you fold it back in. Okay. So it looks nice and straight. You do the same the other side. It is much easier on lighter paper. This is a very heavy set paper. You do the same here. You see the line, follow along it. And then open her up and reverse fold it back in. And fold it back up again. As you can see, we're almost starting to look like a shark, or at least the middle section. All we want to do now is the tail. Along this line here, you want to go and fold all this excess here. Now, the next part, it's always easy if you go and fold it forward and back. So turn it over and fold it again along the same line. So it's much easier. So now you have it folded both sides. You open it up and you want to reverse fold it in. So if you see it, it's going in and it's like that. Now we do three of these in total. 
So this part here, still excess. So you want to go and fold it again. So fold it up, turn it over, you fold it back again. Makes it much easier, especially with this hard card for me. You open it up and you push it in. There it is again. Still excess. This is the last of these folds for this side. Fold it there. You turn it around. You fold it again. Open it up. And you reverse fold it for the third time. Come on. In here. Okay. What you want to do now for the tail is from here to here. It doesn't have to be exact. You want to fold it up. Okay. And do the same the other side because we're reverse folding this too. So along the same line, you fold it. Now, the tricky part of this is, if you see, there's one, two, three sections. What you want to do is open up one of the side sections, not the middle section, and reverse fold it back in. Now, don't push it in tight at the beginning, because it won't work. As you can see, it's all kind of floppy. But you want to have a kind of almost there. What you do want to do is then open up the outside section so it's like this. And this part here, as you can see, you want to get it and bend it sideways. Like so. Now you finish the fold, you close it in. And this is your tail finished. Okay. Now, for the head, what you want to do is from there to there, we're folding. Okay, once again, there's three sections. We're folding the two outer sections. So if you turn that around, from there to there, we're folding again. Okay. Now, this, once again, it's a waist section. We want to go and get rid of this. So we're reverse folding that. So you want to go and fold this over, turn it around, and fold it over the other side again to make it nice and easy. And now when you open it up, it should reverse fold, nice and simple, inside. So it all looks nice and smooth. Right, now this, do you see the line here? This actually overlaps it. What you want to do now is change the fold so that this lines up with this. So if you put your finger there on the smaller ones, it works the same. Put your finger there, it helps it bend it line it up at the bottom and then fold it upwards and it changes the fold. You want to do the same on the other side. Okay, you open it up, you line it up and then you fold it down. Okay, now if you see we have a little bit of excess here again, we're going to go and reverse fold that inside it because we don't need it. now. You can't bend this too easy, but any type of bend is better than no bend, so bend whatever way you can. Then when you open her up, as you can see where you bent it, open her up, bend it in. You use your fingers whatever way, because it's a very hard fold to go and get exactly right. Fold it just so the lines are in, then when you push it in together, it all lines up nice and perfect. Now we have only one thing left to do and it's to fold these back. 
to make the very ster uh, the very recognizable hammerhead shark head. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this back and up. Okay, and this line here is going to go along here. Now I'm going to take my time with this because this is really awkward. So when you're pulling this up to go along here, this is going to fold inwards when you're doing it. You can almost see it happening right now. Okay, and what you're doing is you're getting the outer layer and you're pulling it back. Okay, and this part here, it's going to be bending back at a right angle. This will be at a right angle and then we're going to do the same on the other side. This part here is going to be stretched out. Okay, so we'll try the first part. And as you can see, it's already stretching. And what you want to do is push that part down. You see the angle there, bend the angle, and even the angle coming here, bend that as well. Okay, so you have that at that angle. Now you want to do the same on the other side. So you turn it over, and it's going to pull this up to here again, and this is going to bend in as well. So we're pulling this back. That swung up there too. Now you bend it nice, good angle, push it down there. And there you have your hammer head shark. Okay. This takes a little bit of practice. If you do it two or three times, you will get it really nice. As you can see, it folds in nice. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can show a lot of people your hammerhead shark. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.